Today's video is brought to you by, a burnt nugget, go check him out on, TikTok and YouTube. Get tips on the latest how-tos, car showcasings, and all the sweet cinematics, of Grand Theft Auto 5. We are gonna run through some of GTA 5's most immersive mods for the best gaming experience. Today we are showcasing my all-time favorite script mod, made by Sorbus, the Pull Me Over mod. And just like in the name, this mod allows patrolling cop cars to pull you over when you're driving illegally. In my opinion, this mod score is 9 out of 10, for its accuracy and immersion. Let's get started. First, let's find the patrolling cop car, and ruin his afternoon. One key factor, with this mod, if cops are busy, they might, ignore us. There are many infractions, you can commit which may lead to a ticket. Such as, driving recklessly, driving a heavily damaged vehicle, driving against traffic, running a red light, or a stop sign, and more. Speeding, is one of the easiest ways to get a ticket. When a cop tries to pull you over, he will pursue you, until you stop. Just pull over and remain stationary until he approaches, He will proceed to give you a ticket, and state what offense you committed. Note that, if you try to elude a ticket, you will get a wanted level. In the bottom red corner, you will see 1 out of 7 violations, get all 7 and they will suspend your driving license, and seize your vehicle. But what if you try to run away, without getting another ticket? the police will pursue you. If the chase lasts too long however, you will get a wanted level. If the police crashes. Depending on, what settings you have for the mod, the next nearest cop car will chase you. Or the one that crash will just give up. We will get into the settings later. It's recommended to use, cops, back on the beat mod to make more cops patrol the streets. The cops also have good memory of you. So if you evade the first officer, then the next one that pulls you over, will have a little surprise for you. You can be ticketed, for more than one offense, at a time as long as they saw you do it. Did I mention the surprise, you now have no license. The car has been seized and will remain here, parked, until you get your license back.
driving any other vehicle, whilst your license is suspended, will also result in that car being seized, once they pull you over again. All the offenses can be changed to either on or off. You can also change the speed limit for different locations. Let's get into it. Firstly, go to your web browser and search GTA 5 Pull Me Over Mod. Click on the 5 Mods link and download the latest version. Please note, we are going to install a script mod. You must already have installed scripthook.net and other requirements. Now open your GTA 5 directory and locate the scripts folder, drag and drop the downloaded files there, as I do. And you, are almost done. Now let's explore the settings. Now open the pull me over dot in a file with notepad. Range, is how far the cops can see you commit an offense. Can be reported allows pedestrians and other motorists to call the cops on you, when you commit an offense. I disabled this for myself. Max, is the amount of offenses you can commit before getting your license suspended. Minutes, is how long it takes to get back your license. Police car blips, enables the blips of the car that is trying to pull you over. Allow changing pursuing cop car allows the nearest police to continue chasing you if the first cop has lost sight of you. License suspension, enables or disables them suspending your license. Lights on when near. Cops triggers their flashes when near to pulling you over. Unit. The type of measurement for speeding. This section says, UI, I hid mine because I don't like too many things on my screen at once. X and Y controls the position of the HUD. Hiding them is as simple as disabling the unit speed and HUD, but to avoid problems I just moved mine off the screen with the X and Y settings as seen here. Further down are the speed limits for the different areas, change them as you see fit, I increased mine for more freedom. Lastly on the list are the types of offenses, I strongly recommend disabling the, using a mobile phone, because although it's a wonderful feature, the cops will still take at you for it, even when you're parked, in your own yard. After you have configured it to your liking, you're all set. But before you go, let's review some of the pros and cons of this mod. Pros Very realistic ticketing system. Settings are very configurable. No performance issues. Cons. When cops car gets destroyed, they give up. Progress resets when game restarts, or character switches. If you leave the car during pullover. Instant wanted level. That's everything you need to know about the pull me over mod. Be sure to download it, link in description. Also before you go remember to like and subscribe, it will go a long way.